Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with another simple tutorial on web development. So we are going to continue using this framework called Materialize and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple gallery for your website. Let me say when a user comes on your website and miss such images, you see even when you place, you hover over them, they will create that zoom icon you're seeing. So when the user clicks it, it zooms out the full image. Click again, it goes back to its normal state. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial using this framework called Materialize. And we, are not, we may not use the specific images because I'm having some images from a site called Uganda Film Talks. So what we need to do is include these files in our project or website. Sorry. Now, the first file is inside a folder called CSS, so we first specify the folder name, it's called CSS. So inside CSS, there is a file called, we are going to use the minified version, so materialize.mini.css, materialize.mini.css, oh, remove the first L, I guess that's it. So I, I like putting my scripts always right next to the closing body tag. So we put the source. There is a folder called JS. You can see there is a folder called here JS. So we first specify the folder name. Then inside that folder we need the file called materialize.mini.js. Materialize.mini.js. So that's all we need to work with this framework called materialize. So it also has this class of container giving your website some fixed width. So we put container. So let me first put some word here and see what I mean. So I'm re refresh. Oh, first container SP. Sorry for that. You see it leaves some fixed with it this side. So it also has that functionality like bootstrap. So inside we are going to create a div with a class of row like in bootstrap. Still also materialize has the same stuff to create some grid lines or grids. So inside it we are going to have a column. So materialize has a class of call s12 of and i'm going to explain what they do and m4 so what we are doing we are saying we are creating a column the first class is creating a column so here we are saying on small screens s on small screens it's going to take up the full width so like bootstrap also materialize other grid system of 12 of blocks and we are saying on medium screens and up it's going to be occupying four columns. Every box is going to take up four columns. So inside here, that's where we are going to place our images. And they are inside the folder called IMG. I want to show you what this grid does, this div. So we are having a, a folder called IMG. So we first specify the folder name. Then we need an image called agent.jpg. So we are going to carry this first column. So that's the first column. I'm going to paste it two times. One, two. So let me ho hope you're not getting confused about these divs. Let me first space them. So this is the first div, the first column, second column, third column. So let us change the names of the images. So we are having another code body wine. And another one called Cindy. So these are images I got from a site called Uganda Film Talks. I guess that's it. So right now we are having two huge images. So what we are going to do to make them responsive, we just need to add a class of responsive dash img so responsive image right now if refresh you will see the first image 
is responsive so we need to go on adding this class to every image we have on the website refresh and we are having those responsive images now let me explain to you this devious thing we are saying we created a column which is this so this first column then we are saying on small screens you should take up all the yellow grids so right now are you seeing so this is for m4 on medium it's taking up four columns so it's like this four plus four eight plus four twelve but when we reach the small screens it takes up all the twelve grid system so i guess now you are well off with this div first we create a column on small screens it take up all the grids and on small screens it takes up four in every column so four plus four plus four that's twelve now if you go back to let me highlight this row and i create another row below it so we are going to change the names Eddie Kenzo then we have Jackie and lastly we have Fameika save that refresh and this is what we are having now if I go back to this simple web page I created you see when I hover over them they bring that icon for the zoom so that zoom icon so to add it on these images we created on our website when we hover over them we just need to add another class called material box I've added it to the second image so when we refresh see when I come on the second image you see it gets that icon but when I click it nothing happens so we are going to go on adding this class to every image we have on the website or every image you want to be having this functionality so material box material box material box so you add it to add different classes you just need to add some space between the classes material box material box so every image has that class when we refresh you see that every image now has that class but when you click it nothing happens so want when we click it it brings out the full width of the image so that's when we initialize so for this framework to use their widgets you need to initialize the, the code so first of all, of all we create a variable called gallery you can name it anything you want you set dash equals sorry we are assigning it to document dot whoa dot query selector so mind about the syntax how we write it dot query selector this is uppercase all so now we want to select every image that has a class of material box so we are selecting every image that has a class of material box so here we use the material syntax then we say material box dot init we initialize it then we use the gallery we created here sorry the variable we created here which is gallery we say comma so right now this guy is cutting all the classes every element that has the class of material box it is now stored in this variable called gallery so here we put that so you can go come inside here and write anything you want but to make this tutorial beginner friendly i'm going to stop there because it will give us the same functionality so we are created this variable then initialized it with this function so when you refresh and click on this image you see it zooms out very simple so every image has this functionality but look at this when i go back and i remove all 
query selector all and I leave it at query selector and I refresh this page for it what it does it picks out the first image with that class so the rest will be ignored you see when I click on this nothing happens so you can add this query selector all and it will be applied on every image that has that class or anything you'll be working with because I'm going to be showing you very very many projects you can carry out using this framework materialize so if you go back to our site or my site I created see when I click it it has some caption below it so to add that caption you just need to go to the image right after the class you just had to you just need to add this attribute called data caption and say equals so just just say this is the agent save that when you go back to our site and refresh you see it will have this caption this is agent so you can go on adding these attributes to every image you want to display the caption on and that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the videos and i'll see you in the next tutorial so in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can create some simple contact forms on your website like this one so we are having a simple contact form see those animations so that's what i'm going to be showing you in the next tutorial peace